What's going on? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Trey Sense here. I got a little bit of a discussion for you, slash cologne review, slash topic, slash you know how we do it on Trey Sense channel. The topic of uh, this review is five fragrances that I feel are perfect for a date night. Now, some of these fragrances are a little more expensive than the others. And what I mean by more expensive is everything on there is $50 and down. Um, I had several that I could have put in this list, but these are the five that I just feel like I'm vibing with right now that are good for a date night. That's just me. I could have added several more to the list, but, you know, I wanted to keep it to five. And I wanted to keep it to fragrances I really just felt like were cuddle scents that make you just think of date night. But at the same time, give off a more expensive vibe than maybe they really are. And will make somebody think that, you know what, Ooh, he paid a lot of money for that cologne. It's expensive. And some of them are, like I said, more expensive than others. And some of them are, like we normally talk about on this channel, extreme cheapies. No further ado, let's get right to it. I've got five perfect for a day night and two honorable mentions. So let's get the honorable mentions out of the way first. The first honorable mention is Michael Jordan Legend. And let me tell you, this is a sweet, syrupy, gourmandy type of fragrance. If you don't know what a gourmand is, it's a fragrance that reminds you of food. And that's what this one is. This is man food. This is just syrupy goodness in a bottle. I wish that Michael Jordan and his people would get together and make a flanker to this and call it midnight or something. I don't know what they should call it, but add just a slight coffee note. Not like in Angel Man, but just a slight one to go with that syrup in here. I think that would be a killer of a fragrance. I think it would smell amazing. And if you're familiar with the smell of this fragrance, then think about it with a hint of coffee. Not a strong one, just a hint of coffee but this is michael jordan legend price point on this bad boy is anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars and performance on it is really really good especially in the winter it's in the winter time you're going to get about three hours of projection i never would about six or seven hours of longevity summertime it's a little bit less summertime you're going to get about hour and a half to two hours of projection with maybe four four and a half five hours of longevity things just heat up and burn off quicker in the summertime it's just hot your body heats up quicker which makes the fragrance project quicker and burn off quicker so it's just gone quicker the next one is kenneth cole mankind hero and this is a very nice fragrance it's orangey citrusy creamy Whew. yeah very good fragrance orangey and creamy uh, not like a creamsicle or not like anything juvenile or anything like that it's very mature very masculine very smooth is what this is very smooth very uh, this fragrance just reminds me of a confident guy. Now, it does have some, some citrus in there. The orange is in, orange in there, and it makes it a little bit playful. Yeah, which is, you want to be playful on a date night, right? Right. But it's a good fragrance, and it's, it's getting harder to find. So if you see this, you may want to pick it up. I don't know what's going on, but a lot of these fragrances that you used to see at rag stores all the time, you don't see anymore. I don't know where they're going, but they're just not there anymore. But that is Kenneth Cole, Mankind. Uh, projection on that thing is about two hours, and longevity is about five, five and a half hours. Um, so it's a decent performer, performer, not anything groundbreaking, but it doesn't suck either. Okay. Now, let's get into what we came here for. Those five that Trey Sense feel like, you know, is good for a date night. <sighs> and it was tough to pick which one went where because they're all good fragrances. Number five, a house I do have a lot of fragrances from and I actually like, it is John Varvatos. Some of these John Varvatos, John Varvatos vintage, I'm sorry, John Varvatos vintage. Some of the fragrances from the house of Varvatos perform well and some of them don't. This one does okay, especially in the environment that I would think you would wear this one would be on a winter's or a cooler weather's date night. I think this one would absolutely go well on that. I think it, it has a a, it gives off to me that violet leaf vibe, but it, it's not listed in the note breakdown, but that's what I get from it. It's just got that, uh, it's got a little bit of a bad boy streak in it. And that's what makes me think it would be perfect for, for a date night. That and it lends itself to cooler weather. Nice fragrance. This size bottle can be had for under $30. And I think $24.99, $24.25. Um, and this is the 1.7 ounce. So it's not, it's not, I think it's 1.7, maybe the 2.5. I stand corrected. This is the 2.5. And you can get it for about um, 
$24.99, I think is what I paid for this. I picked it up at TJ Maxx. But number five on the list is John Vavetos Vintage. Nice fragrance. You, should, you guys should try this if you haven't already. Very nice smelling fragrance. That is number five on the list. Number four on the list is from one of my favorite houses, a house that's dear to my heart. And honestly, if you can't find something from this house that you like, you're really just not trying. And that is the house of Perry Ellis. And this fragrance is Perry Ellis M. This fragrance is very, very nice. It's rich, seductive. It smells way more expensive than a $20 to $25 fragrance, which is where this one comes in. This one draws comparison to Chanel Allure Home, I think. And you know Chanel is about $100. This is about $20. And this is a uh, pretty good sized bottle. This is the one point, I'm sorry, the 100 ml bottle, the 3.4 ounce bottle. And it's nice. I sprayed it on earlier. It's very nice, very seductive. It gives off a little bit of a boozy vibe, but not a drunk boozy, but just a little, just a hint of booze. The cinnamon that's in it does come through. Just a great fragrance. Definitely a good uh, date night fragrance. Performance on it is, is pretty good. It's, you know, it's not bad. Again, two, two and a half hours of projection, six to seven hours of longevity. The longevity on it is good. Of course, it turns into a skin scent somewhere during that time period, but most fragrances do. But that is Perry Ellis M. Very good fragrance, nice fragrance from the house of Perry Ellis, who is not a clone house, but they're not necessarily the most original house either, but that is a good smelling fragrance from that house, especially for the price you pay for it. All right, moving along to the number three spot on the list, and a fragrance that's a little bit more expensive, but I think you can definitely get this fragrance for under $50 now, and it's from a house, you guessed it, another house that I love, because they make good and expensive cologne, and that is the house of Azaro, and this is Azaro's Wanted. Wanted by Night is good too, but I don't have that one yet, so we're sticking with Wanted. But this is definitely a nice romantic fragrance. It smells in the lines of Sauvage, uh, Blue de Chanel, Dylan Blue, all of those. I'm not sure what the note is in there. I know one of my wonderful subscribers and watchers will tell me, but there's a certain note that those fragrances have, and this one has it too. And it is, it's, it's, it's nice. I love this bottle. I think it looks great in the collection, but more importantly is the juice. This is some good smelling cologne. And you can get this big old, what is this? 3.4 ounce? Yeah, 100 ml bottle. I've had it about a year and it was 50 bucks. So I'm sure the price on it has come down now. I'm sure it's probably closer to 40. And if you get a smaller bottle, I know it's going to be closer to 30 or 40 bucks. Um, I don't know exactly, but I know that it's under 50. And that is a great date night fragrance in the summertime or in the, the fall and winter. I think this one could be worn. I would not wear this in the high heat. It just, to me, it just doesn't go well. It's too thick. And I can see it getting away from you in the high heat. But definitely on a cool summer's night, rock it. Cool summer's day, rock it. Just stay out of the sun. Definitely on a date night, whether it's winter or summer, I think it's the perfect fragrance for a date night. All right, we'll get into the nitty gritty. I gotta take a little sip, guys. Man, that was good, excuse me, a little, little down south. You gotta learn to drink sweet tea with a splash of lemon in it. All right, number two out of my five. And this was hard to pick the number one and number two, but you probably already know what number two is. That is Dolce & Gabbana's The One. Now, this is the EDT. They say the EDP performs better. I don't know. I have the EDT, and this stuff smells amazing. It is the perfect date night scent. The projection on it is not that strong, but I paid $50 for it. $49.99, I think, is what I paid for it. And honestly, I think it was worth every penny. I really do. It's, it smells that good. It's a nice smelling fragrance. You're going to have to reapply it, but it's definitely going to get you through a date, which is only a couple of hours. So it's definitely going to get you through it. You're going to smell nice. They're going to like it. They're going to love it. Um, citrusy at the top with that smoothness at the bottom. Again, it's a little bit boozy. It lends itself to a little bit of a boozy accord, but it's a great smelling fragrance. And I think it is perfect for a date night, summer or winter. I think it lends itself to both. I think the, the, the citrus in it lends it to the summer. And I think the, the liquory vibe or the alcoholic vibe, boozy, that's the word I'm looking for. The boozy vibe kind of lends it to the winter. So I think it goes both ways. I think it's just a versatile fragrance. Smells good. They say the EDP is better. If I run across the EDP, I'll pick it up. But for now, we're rocking with the number two spot. It's Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDT. All right. 
I had a drummer, I would tell him drum roll because we're going into my number one fragrance that I think is absolutely perfect for a date night, winter or summer. I mean, that wasn't the criteria, but just a date night. But this one lends itself to both. And it is from the house of Paco Rabanne. And no, it's not One Million Lucky. Instead, it is One Million Privé. I absolutely adore this fragrance. I picked this up for $49.99 at TJ Maxx. And it was in a gift set that came with this big old 100 ml bottle. Um, a 7 ml decant that says 1 million on it. And a shower gel of... I mean, I'm sorry, it says 1 million Privé and a shower gel of 1 million. And it is just a very nice fragrance. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. It's smooth. It's boozy. It's seductive. It's everything that you want to be on a date night. A little bit boozy. A little bit smooth. A little bit seductive. Yeah. So... What else, what more could you ask for out of a fragrance? I happen to enjoy it a lot. Uh, my lady likes it. And of course, that means a lot of, as a matter of fact, she likes all of these. So, you know, there's a little bit of input to you too, fellas. I mean, the ladies like these fragrances. They smell good. This one happens to be my favorite out of the list. I think if she had to pick, she would pick Wanted, partly because she bought it, but she would pick that one because she just likes the way it smells. But for me, this one is number one. All right, guys, I'm gonna run through real quick and just give you a recap. Number five, John Barbados Vintage. Four, Perielis M. Three, Azaro's Wanted. Two, Dolce, Dolce, whatever. Gabani, Gabana, Dolce and Gabbana. The one, the one is number two today. and. The number one fragrance is, and you see it right there, plain as day, number one, Paco Rabanne's One Million Privé. Absolutely love these fragrances. All right, guys, thank you for sticking to the end of this video. I know 12 or 13 minutes is a long video, especially for me, but we had seven fragrances to get through. You know the drill. If you have any familiarity with these fragrances, let's talk about it in the comments below. If you've got five day night fragrances out there, I'd love to hear them. Tell me what your five day night fragrances are. Um, like, share, and subscribe if you hadn't already. Subscribe, like this video so people know that you like my content and let YouTube know that you like me. Share so all your friends can get them five day night fragrances. Um, again, if you have any familiarity, familiarity with these fragrances, leave it in the comment below and we can talk about it. You know, and if you got a date tonight, I hope you choose one of these and maybe you'll get, you know, you know. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a good Tuesday. Until next time, see you guys. Peace.